Hey, it's Crafty Katie, and I'm here to share with you a friend mail and swap from Thelma Hall. We did a swap. Um, I sent her box out. She hasn't got it yet. Probably won't get it till next week or so. I was late as usual. Sorry, Thelma. But she sent me my box, and I got it on time. So I'm going to open this up with you, and we're going to see what Thelma sent me. And I'm pretty sure it has some really good goodies in here and some awesome items that she created for me. So, just gonna open this up somehow. <laughs> there we go. Now, Thelma did warn me that the box, uh, everything, oh goodness gracious, was in upside down. Oh, I don't wanna rip that. Can always reuse these boxes. Some looks like she has some packing in here. Well, there seems to be an awful lot in here. All right, we're just gonna take stuff out and we're gonna. Ooh, holy moly! All right, things floating around inside here. Okay, that's everything out of the box. Got my card. It came out, Thelma. It was at the bottom, but it came out. That's good. Oh. Right. oh. <laughs> I'm going to show you the front of the card that Thelma made me. Oh, look at that. That She embossed this. Ooh, pretty. And then she embossed that. Well, this is embossing powder. And this is dry embossing. Nice. Just let me look at the card. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> oh, cats are loud. <laughs> but look at this. The little fence she created with her die cuts. That is so cute. Thank you, Thelma. So I'm going to save the journal for last. And I'll show you the little goodies that she sent in here. She sent me this tassel. Keychain tassel, I bet you. Which would be helpful because I always lose my keys somewhere in my purse. So that's cool. And it's silver, and I like it. And what did she find? Ooh, she found me those stamps from Dollar Tree. Awesome. So, I'm hoping to find some of these too. Uh, we, I have not seen, I have not seen the dies yet in our stores. So, I mean, really, and honestly, I haven't seen much in our stores. So we don't. It seems like the stores where I that are around me can hardly get anything. But these are cute. Thanks, Alma. Cute, cute, cute. And, oh, a little book. Aw, it's a little journaling book. Yeah, just play pages. You can do whatever you want. But look, at there's a little gorgeous girl sitting on the front with a kitty cat. And she colored it. Very nice. Very, And she inked around the edges here, too. Very cute, Thelma. It's, yeah, gorgeous girls. Very cute. And on the back, she just covered up she just covered it up with something and put, made it her own on this thing. It's really cute. I can use this to put some notes inside here. Maybe get myself organized. <laughs> That's cute, Thelma. Thank you. And... What the... These look like Thelma's tassels. Ooh, look at this. I've got to shake it up a bit. Make it all fluffy. Look at that. That is... I love these colors. I'm trying to think... It kind of reminds me of a beachy feel. Because of the browns, you know, for the sand and the wa blue for the water. Really cool. Oh, Dalma, these are great. You make awesome tassels, girl. Seriously. I'm going to fluff them up. Cool. I'll do that one right here. And she sent me a pink one, which makes me think of candy and stuff. So like um, Valentine's Day, this is so pretty. See, Thelma makes awesome tassels and I know they're pretty, they can be pretty easy to make, but nope, I prefer to let other people make me beautiful tassels. <laughs> 
And Thelma does a fantastic job of that. So awesome. Thank you. So there's that one. Oh, and there's a fall colored one too. Oh my gosh. This one's cool. I got it. There we go. Look at that. That's so pretty. Look at those colors. I love these. Kind of makes me want to do my, redo my craft room in these colors. More of a fall. I do tend to like the fall colors better. Occasionally I get on a kick where I like to have like the pinkies or these colors here. But then I like these ones better. Just one moment, please. Sorry about that interruption. But yeah, look at this. Look at those colors. And I love this green. It really stands out to me. Oops. It's, uh... See how pretty that is? Love it. Love it. And then I'm not sure if these are tassels too or if she just gave me a bunch of um, ribbon pieces. Because, boy, there's a lot of ribbon pieces in here that I would use in my, my uh, tags and books and stuff. <laughs> so, Thelma, you're going to have to put inside the comments whether this is a tassel that I'm not supposed to take apart or if I can take this one apart. Because I have this one. It, has, it looks more like a tassel. It does have, but it has all kinds of stuff inside this one. So, I wouldn't take this one apart because it looks like a tassel. But this one, I'm not sure. I don't know. You'll have to tell me. Because if I could take this one apart, there's a, a book I have in mind with paper that I have that will match all of these ribbons. So, thank you, Thelma, for all these beautiful, beautiful things. So, let's get to the journal. There we go. And she has my name on it. Right there. Now, I think this is... I think, it, yeah, it's fabric. It's fabric. And then she has a butterfly here, a doily butterfly on the front. I don't know if you can see it's kind of tea stained and it matches this. So, and it's all around with the lace and she sewed all the lace on there. I don't have the patience for that. But Thelma, you do, obviously. So we're going to open this up. I'm going to put the piece of lace just over here for now so I can bind it up later. And I want to make sure that I have this in the frame. So here is the first page and she's made a pocket with a tag and it has a nice little saying here, a little vintagey looking tag and this little piece of vintage looking lace also. It's really cute. And I'm not, I think this could, I don't know sure if this paper, if this is wallpaper, but she has this, this piece of fabric back here to add as part of the binding, which is pretty cool. And then she put a piece of lace over this paper has a lot of texture in this book. That's pretty cool. Then there's, so that's the cover in here. Okay, these are the signatures inside here. Darn, there's a whole whack of those, Thelma. <laughs> and I want to make sure I can kind of, I'll use my water, my cup here, just to help prop it up a bit. Just put a little tuck spot with a cute little uh, tag here. And then there's a nice little flower, a little bit of washi. And she's inked all around the edges. Oh, I love this. I love when everything is kind of eclectic and looking in here. So she's added a couple of tags here. Thanks a million. And I mean, she's used various types of paper in here. And I think that's pretty cool. They go together, but it's more, more eclectic looking. Ugh. And then up here, there's another little journaling tag, which is cool. So I'll put that back in there. Then there's this one, and I think she stamped that image on here. Oops, it's stuck together. So it's just a page where you can put whatever you want on this one. Then you come to this side, and again, there's a little antique stuff and a little card, a little tag. Oopsie. Stuck. And she cut out, I'm not sure, I don't think that's washy. I think that's little pieces of cardstock. Come on. Oh, darn it. It just wants to won't focus. Let's see, does that work? No, of course not. Of course, when I want you to focus, you won't focus. So there's that page. Oops, something just flew off of me. Oh, she put a belly band across here. Nice. With a nice little 
um, tuck. Oh, not a tuck. A tag. Jeez. A little tag. That's very cute. So you can add. You can actually add more tuck um, t tags, not tucks. <laughs> then there's this one here. Come on forth into the light of nature. Things. Let nature be your teacher. Oh, cool. And see what I mean? Like it. I like how this looks. It's so. The papers are different, but they they go. You know what I mean? It's just nice eclectic kind of soft look. And she just gave a nice place to write stuff on or put a picture with some. Ooh, that's ribbon. Or maybe that's the ribbon washi that you can get. Oh, look at this. And she. Okay, I see now. It's like a little tuck spot right here. So many of my smiles begin with you. Yes, they do, Thelma. They begin with you. And then there's these cute little ones here, too. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And then more vintage -y looking stuff. And she's aged, tinted these things all. I'm hoping I'm in the frame here. So pretty. Another belly band with another card. Where? I'm not sure where you got these from. Are these from the... Are these from the Recollections journaling spots? I like this page. This page is nice and bright. Even though you've distressed it, it's still stay, you can still see the colors very nicely. And again, she's stamped here and made a little tuck spot over here. Look at that. That's cool. She, and she made a little tag tuck spot here. And then there's a journaling card right here. Very cute. I think that's an envelope. I don't know. Is it an envelope? I haven't made one of these kind of journals. <laughs> Maybe I should try. So she has this little thing that comes out as a tuck spot. That's cool. Sweet life. And she has a journaling card in here. Oh, wow. And this is just a first signature. Good gosh. We got a whole whack. To oh, look at that. She folded a little kind of, I call these boat tucks because it kind of reminds me of a paper boat. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just does. So I think it's good. And this is so cute. This fill this page with random items. I could do that, Thelma. I can do that. I can fill it with random items. So again, we've got another little tuck spot in the oh it matches that way. Okay, cool. A little little tag. And then another tuck spot here with the spot to put stuff in either journaling or pictures and a cute little tag and on the back you can put more journaling if you decide to. I wanna make sure I'm in the frame. I keep thinking I'm in the frame and then I kinda of look up and I'm not. And then there's this one here. I mean, I just love how all the colors that she's using in here. Friends, that's pretty. Oh, that one doesn't want to stay. And then again, a nice little tuck spot. That kind of looks like a gift, but that's nice. It's a nice little journaling spot. I don't know why it doesn't want to stay there. It just wants to fall out. And another belly band. Oh, okay. So that's... <laughs> Sorry, I thought this was one page and I was like, how am I supposed to get that out? But okay, I got it. It's not one page. There we go. This is cute with the nice little journaling spot here. Oh, grow a happy life. Grow a happy life. That sounds cool. I could do that, Delma. That's a nice little tuck spot again. Oh, look at up here. She fussy cutted some um, a rose with leaves. I'm telling you, this whole thing just looks pretty cool together. And there's a, a tag. It's stuck. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Follow your heart, it says. I think it's it's working better when I don't put, bring it up to the camera. Got a cute little tuck spot in here. This is cool. And then a little journaling spot down here. Oopsie. I want to get that back in here. There we go. And I like how you folded that one. I gotta try some of these little things. And a cute little tag she made. And over here, another. Oops. I'm not sure what if that was supposed to, and I wrecked it or something. Maybe I. But it's cute. A nice little tag. I like this paper with the blue polka dots. Really pretty. Nice little spot for journaling. Again, here for journaling, too. Very funny, lol, with another little tuck spot. Oh, again. Oh, favorite memories. This is nice. I like this. I like this combination of papers. I just, they're 
something about it. this is cool. Oof. Why not go out on a limb? That's where the fruit is. <laughs> Mark Twain. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is pretty. And there's some more of that ribbon washi. I'm pretty sure that's the ribbon washi. I had to, I have a few rolls of that myself. And then we have a nice spot here for doing it. And I think there's a tuck space in here. So well, let's see. Is there a tuck space? Maybe there. Yep. Maybe there's a card floating around somewhere that was supposed to be in there. I'm not sure. And then another belly band. Oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, looks like I think maybe there's a card floating around here somewhere and it fell out. I don't know. But yeah, this is a tuck spot like she did on the other page. Oh, this is cute. A little tuck spot right there. Would never thought that it was a tuck spot. But cool. I'm liking this book. It's awesome. And there's this one. Yep, that is the ribbon washi because I have that one. <laughs> I love it. I think it's really nice. Cute little tuck spot. Yeah, another place. Um, oh, she made a flip here. See right here? And with little tags inside. So it's the journey that matters more. And so you open it up. And it's got all little tags inside here. It's like a little, a little booklet. Cool. Okay, I gotta put that back the right way, otherwise it's not gonna close properly. All right, I think I can see it better like this if I don't hold it up. And then there's this one. It has its own little tuck spot again. Cool. She made a little envelope tuck spot of there. And here we go. Today is the day. Another tuck spot. I like this. I like how it looks. It looks really cool. Believe, believe in. <laughs> I think that's funny. Because <laughs> this is an actual tag from some collection. And I think that's why. Thelma wrote believe here is the fact that they spelt believe wrong. So she put believe and believe. <laughs> Thelma, that's funny. I like that. That's cute. And this is awesome. So, and here's another tech spot with some more of those journaling cards. Those are cool. I like journaling cards. Oops. This is pretty. More journaling spots. Another one. Cool. Oh, live for the moment. You can't put into words. Nice, 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 nice. Like I said, all this paper, it seems like it, even though it's different, it just flows. I like it. Another little tuck spot. Mines are like parachutes. They only function when they are open. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. And, but it's true though. Oh, uh, this is such pretty. Oh, Thelma made a bunch of uh, journaling spot here with a uh, marker, I think. she Or a stencil or something. Very nice. I like this color because it just pops and it works well with this page right here. Very cute. More of that washi ribbon. Another tuck spot. Uh oh, stuck it. All my life I wanted to be someone. I guess I should have been more specific. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty happy with who I am and who my friends are. So can't go wrong with that. Special memories and another little tuck spot down here. Of course, I don't have my reading glasses on, so I can't really see everything. Ah, oh, there's nothing like staying at home for real comfort. I agree. Oh, and there's that. She's done the lines again. So I think that is a stencil and she draw, she paints them in. Cool. There's this one, a little card that she has in the belly band. Nice. And here. Viva la vita. Ooh, be. Oh, and then she used a little envelope here and fussy cutted some, some flowers. Very nice. This is nice paper <laughs> with the polka dots. That's really cool. And another little tech spot. And then we have this one with the belly band and a journaling spot. And a nice journaling spot with some flowers on the background. Really cute. And she distressed this page. That's really nice too. Uh, oh, there we go. Again, more journaling lines. I like this. 
because that gives you a lot of space where you want to write stuff. I mean, even if you don't put pictures or anything, at least, you know, you can jot down your own thoughts and stuff inside here, which I think is really nice. It has a tag. Very nice. That's, okay, so it's just, that's a part of a doily. That's what that is. Okie dokie. And then we have more journaling spots on this and again here. That's, yeah, and that's not a tuck spot this time. Okay, cool. Oh, this is nice. Nice little journaling card. These are cute. And these little pictures that you have on these on these little tags, those are cute too. Oh, and there's ribbon washi right here. Right there. Polka dotted though. And green. Oh, that's a pretty color. I haven't seen that one. I don't have it. Oh, nice. Again, this is the... The little boat, well, I call it, is it, yeah, it's a sailboat kind of thing, you know, it's really cool. Oh, yeah. A little index tag. Ooh, pretty, pretty paper. That's really nice. Nice colors. And it looks really cool is the fact that you matched this lines to this. So it really looks awesome. Awesome job, Thelma. That's a pretty stamp. And this one's neat too. This page reminds me of a bumblebee for some because of the black and the the kind of antique color inside there. Oh nice. What's this? Oh, it's a piece of washi. Okay. That's a tuck spot. Beep. Just like this. And this one too. Nice, nice, nice. I like this. I like when you do this. This is pretty cool because it makes it look really vintagey, the papers and stuff. And again, a piece, a line piece of paper. That's a pretty cool. And a nice little belly band with the tuck spot again. Wow. Oh, that's pretty. That's ribbon uh, washi as well, this right here. Ooh, very nice. That's a bright color. And a little tag and a little tuck spot here. Nice. Everything's just so cool. And little tuck spots in here. And another tuck, tuck spot in here inside the envelope. That's cool. Don't worry about it. I got stuff I can tuck inside there. <laughs> This is nice. Kind of reminds me of your tassel. This one. Kind of reminds me of this tassel. Really cool. I like those colors. It's funny. I like a lot of... Oops. Missed a spot. Missed one. Very nice. Falma, you're getting amazing at making these journals. I'll tell you that much. Again, I like this one. This paper is very cool. It's nicely muted, like fall colors. Again, I like this. I think it would look really cool with that. And nice little tuck spot here. Ooh. Nice little envelope. Very cool. So this is the last uh, signature in here. Look at this. This is so, I don't know, Thelma. I don't know what to say. These are. This is awesome. I love that you match the paper up so that when you go like this, it looks like it's one great big sheet of paper there. So cool. Again, I don't think I'd have the patience for that. <laughs> I know I have patience to sit there and cut out chipboard letters, but when it comes to stuff like that, I was like, oh, <laughs> this is pretty. I like this, and I really like that paper. It's very nice, too. Thanks. This is really cool. Wow. I just, I love these colors. I think they just, so great. Happy time. Yep, definitely having a happy time here with this. Love it. That says it all about this journal right now. I love it. And I am thankful for my friend Thelma because she is awesome. 
and the little tuck spot here. That is cool. Going that way instead. Cool. My goodness. This is cool. I like that. That le It looks like a leaf. And that is nice paper. Wow, I like that paper too. Good eye for matching all this stuff, Thelma. Like, seriously. Amazing. Cute, cute, cute. Another tuck spot. Oh! She made this envelope. I know it. I don't think it was an envelope by itself. Or it could have been. But it looks like she made it. So that is cool. Love this. Amazing. And then a nice little journey card where she embossed again. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with my heat embossed gun. <laughs> I get scared to use it sometimes because I have a tendency to forget to turn it off and then it's facing something. <laughs> and I realize, you know, it kind of melted something. So I always have uh, issues wanting to, to use it. So I have to pretty much be focused only on that at that particular moment in time. This is pretty. So nice little Billy band again. Very nice, Selma. This is an awesome journal. Thank you so much for sending it to me. I can... Oh! <laughs> I see what you did here. <laughs> that is so cool. This is the little weenie dog that I uh, send on my packages to... When I do Happy Mail, I send out... Uh, I have a little... Um, it's an address label that I put on there and I have these little weenie dogs on it and she cut this one out. Oh, Thelma, that's so sweet. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. This is such a beautiful, beautiful album. And I know it probably took you forever to create this because there's a lot of work that you put inside there. I'm going to make sure I put my ribbon back on my album. And, uh, I can't wait for you to get the stuff that I sent for your swap, for our swap to you. I hope you really like what I sent you because I love what you sent me. Because, I mean, totally. I mean, wow. I love this. I love those colors. And this is so pretty, too, with the pinks and the purples. Love it, love it, love it. Now, you're going to have to tell me about this one. If I'm allowed to take this apart and use the ribbon. <laughs> or if I have to use it as a tassel. It's up to you to tell me this. And this one too, it's so rich. Like rich, the richness of the dark brown and everything is just awesome. <sighs> Thank you, Thelma. Thank you so much for swapping with me. Thank you so much for being my friend. I appreciate it. You are the best. Thank you. Everybody, if you're not subscribed to Thelma's channel, I will be linking her channel down below. Uh, please go check out Thelma. Let's help her get to 500 subscribers. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell so you know when I put up new content on my channel. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and let's all get crafty. Bye!